Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Shapiro. I'm a plastic surgeon certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. I've been performing, I've been uh, practicing the Scottsdale Paradise Valley area since 1992, and all I perform is cosmetic or aesthetic plastic surgery. I perform lots and lots of rhinoplasties, one of my favorite procedures, and I'm very proud of my results. People come in and, and, and tell me that they find me on the internet based upon my patient reviews and based upon my before and after photographs. And the greatest compliment that I can uh, get is that a patient comes in and, and says that Basically, pay, people can't tell they've had a rhinoplasty yet. When I show the before and after, I think it's quite dramatic, and the patient's confidence is, is vastly improved, and I think they feel more handsome or more beautiful. I perform lots of revision rhinoplasties, and a very common question that I get is, are cartilage grafts necessary uh, in, in revision rhinoplasties? And the answer to the question is, most often, yes. Now why? A revision rhinoplasty deals with a plane of surgery or surgical field that has been operated on before. Most commonly in a, in a revision rhinoplasty, either not enough or too much has been taken out. But in either case, there needs to be really a modification of what was performed in order to provide a more harmonious and balanced result. In revision rhinoplasties, oftentimes the scarring causes contraction of tissue, so things are scarred in, and what we need to do is release them and provide some adequate stability to get a long-term aesthetic result. In that case and in those needs, almost always I will take some cartilage from the septum uh, on the inside of the nose and use that for support. I will place what we call a columella strut, and that goes in the midline of the nose, and provides tip projection, places that tip in the midline, and then allows me to work around that to perform what I feel is a very beautiful nose. Oftentimes, uh, that cartilage will also be placed uh, between the uh, septum and what we call the upper lateral cartilages as spreader grafts to improve breathing. Oftentimes, in a revision rhinoplasty, people's breathing is not good because the bones were fractured without adequate airway protection. protection. Um, and in that, in that case, again, I will use cartilage grafts. Also, um, in revision rhinoplasty, there may be some irregularity uh, from over rasping of the nose, from cartilage that was taken down, and, and maybe some cartilage left. So oftentimes, I will use some of that cartilage from the inside of the nose, and I will call what we call morselize it. I will, um, I will uh, crush it. Uh, to make it more conforming, and I will place it in areas where there's irregularity. So cartilage grafts are an integral portion of a revision rhinoplasty, and I think are very necessary. The best way to decide whether or not you're a good candidate for revision rhinoplasty and whether or not grafts will be needed is to get a consultation with a board-certified plastic surgeon who perform lots of rhinoplasties, and specifically lots of revision rhinoplasties. Thank you.